All right, there's not much Jane Lynch cannot do, okay? You guys remember, she stole our hearts as the lovable villain Sue Sylvester in Glee for six seasons. Yeah, and since then, she's racked up a Golden Globe and a few Emmy Awards, and she's starred on Broadway. So we can for certain say that Jane Lynch is not the weakest link, but she's back to host season three. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jane. Hi, how are you? We love when you come to visit I us. I love visiting the we, two of you. We want to talk about the weakest link and yes. all that stuff, but I often, I, I love kind of origin stories how it began for you and why how your career catapulted because of one decision right. you made a long time ago that just changed the trajectory of your life. Right. I did a commercial for uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Now, this was at a time when you know, I didn't say no to anything. Yeah. So you show up for a commercial audition and then I got a call back and it's Christopher Guest, who was wow. the director. I found out at the callback. So that kind of, you know, that from all, you know, that so all good things. Yes. And he called you for what, Best in Show? Best in Show. And I ran into him at a restaurant. He didn't yeah. even call me. He hadn't even thought of me. And I was like, oh, hi, nice to see you. And he said, come to my office, young lady. So, and yeah. when you went there, he was like, we have a, a movie. Yeah, it was like, he was like telling, you? basically telling me I had it. And I couldn't process it. <laughs> And um, I wait. and I said, okay, yeah. Well, I I'm, I'm, I I told him how I would do it and why why he. Sh I was kind of selling myself to him. <laughs> like, and he doesn't to. like to be sold to. He's he's not one of those guys. And so he was just kind of nodded his head. And then I walked out and I went, I, I think I just got it. So, are you like a girl with a plan? Were you like, I'm gonna do a commercial and then I'm gonna do a movie? No, and I had no gonna... plan. And I think that that's a good thing these days because I didn't say no to anything. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to be invited to the party, if you yeah. will. I just yeah. wanted to. I wanted to act, whether it was on stage, in front of the camera. You know, I did, I did everything. I just loved it so much. Yeah, I mean, I think the other thing is you've been so open, yeah. you know, to possibilities. Yes. One, uh, so n then you got to work with Jennifer Coolidge. Yes. yes. Who we have seen have this <laughs> yeah. moment yeah. in the last couple of years that she maybe didn't have before. Right. Yeah. You said something really beautiful yeah. about her. You said the world was just waiting to catch up with her. Yeah, she's one of those. Yeah, she's a... Uh, you know, you, you you meet her and you, uh, well, I had seen her earlier on stage at Groundlings and I was like, oh my God, she's just so unique and so weird and so her, <laughs> so her own self. There's nobody she she's like. And sometimes it takes people a while to to cotton to that. So she she didn't necessarily become a star right away. She didn't like, you know, shoot to fame and now she has. Yeah. What do you think about people like her or Cheryl Lee Ralph yeah. or all yeah, these right. women who are like stepping into their moment at yeah. this moment in their lives? Well, I think it's just kind of uh, a destiny has come together yeah. too. Uh, this perhaps couldn't happen five minutes earlier. It's just, it, it's, it's possible now and we're open to it now. And I think with Jennifer, the fact that, you know, she has so much talent and she is so unique unique and she's unstoppable yeah that you know she stuck around no matter what and it, it wasn't like she wasn't working but yeah. she wasn't like you look at her and go why isn't that person a yes. huge star mm -hmm. and and now she is mm -hmm. yeah no yeah. that's so fun to see that happen to your Isn't friend mm -hmm. yeah it is um, okay we have to talk about the weakest link yes <laughs> You are so kind. We know you. Yes. You played evil characters on but TV. But you're nice. But you're kind. <laughs> yes. And loving. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Thank you. Is it yes. hard to be kind of... Mean? Cranky. Do you know what? It, it, Grumpy. It, 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 it was easy to be mean as Sue Sylvester because I was playing a character. Yeah, right. And I knew her goodness inside. But it, every once in a while, it can get hard. Yeah. It, it, everyone, I got a wonderful producer, Stuart Krass, now who's in my ear, and he is the <laughs> snarkiest guy in the world. And he'll say, "Say blah blah blah," and I'm like, "I can't." <laughs> you come down here and say it to that beautiful person that I'm looking at right now. So there's certainly a line. I mean, uh, I, I I don't want to be mean, no. but everybody shows up knowing what the drill is. Yeah. They know what the game is. Yeah. To, yeah. And they're kind of waiting for the the insult. <laughs> yeah. So that. you have to give them what they. I gotta. Want. I gotta give them. Okay. The people what they want. want. All right, Jane's going to stick around. She's going to host a game of the weakest link for us coming up. Okay, we're going to take some Plaza contestants and see who's forced to say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> right. Is it, did we say that right? No. Goodbye. Right, goodbye. Right, I'm goodbye. I'm a goodbye. girl now. <laughs> this time has come to see who among us is the, the weakest, weakest link. link. Okay, the beloved game show first premiered on NBC over 20 years ago based on the hit format BBC Studios brought to the world. Okay, in honor of season three, the premiere tomorrow, we're going to play a mini version with two of our fun Plaza friends. We have Eugenia Vance. She's from Dallas, Texas. Woo! Marlo Bungham. She's from Masson, Minnesota. Woo! And, and
And by the way, their family members are here, here. Mom Doris and son Gabe in the house, too. <laughs> We're excited. Okay, and here to host is the one and only Jane Lynch. Come on, Jane. All right, Let's kids. Go. This is how it's going to work. I will ask questions one at a time, left to right. Normally uh, on the show, we would bank money, but I'm not feeling too confident <laughs> with these two. Huh? Us? Is so that us? Let's put one minute, 30 seconds on the clock, oh. and we'll start with Hoda. It's time to play uh, The Weakest okay. Link. Oh. All right, Hoda. Right? Yes, what are we doing? What fluffy Wait. confection no words. with whipped eggs whites oh. would you find? What? And three okay. musketeer oh, bars. No words. Oh, just say it. Yeah. Uh, in a, oh, oh, uh, uh, meringue. Nope. Uh, nougat. All right, Jenna. Okay. A popular nursery rhyme begins with it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is hot. Snoring. Correct. Uh, Eugenia, is... what <laughs> restaurant chain suspended its finger licking good tag nine line in 2020? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, yeah. got that one right. All right, Marlo. In what rom-com does Julia Roberts tell Hugh Grant she's just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her? Oh. Oh. Marlo, come on. It's okay. <laughs> got Pretty Woman. Nope, that is Notting okay. Hill. All right, Poda, we're okay. back to you. Nope, Savannah, got it. Savannah Guthrie or Savannah, Georgia? Which is covered in Spanish moss? Uh, Savannah, <laughs> Georgia. You got that right. Well, that was a safe answer. What? Okay, uh, Jenna, what punk pop band released the Grammy-winning album American Idiot? Oh, Green Day. You got that right. Okay, Eugenia, if I'm six feet tall and my co-star is five foot seven, how many inches taller am I? Two. <laughs> All right, Marlo, sit on it or blow on it? How do you get the noise out of a whoopee cushion? Oh, the noise out of a whoopee cushion? Yeah. Yes. Sit on it. Yeah. Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hodo, this is for you. Before Curb Your Enthusiasm, Larry David co-created what other sitcom that turned out pretty, pretty good? Seinfeld. You got that right. All right, Jenna, this is for you. On what reality show do you contest? Whoa! is up. All right, this is the part in the show when we usually vote off the weakest link. <laughs> but I think it's pretty crystal clear what the weakest link is. In fact, there are two of them, and they're Hoda and Jenna. <laughs> what? So it's time for you two. Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Go back to your day jobs. Okay. All right. Okay. Come Eugenia on. and Marlo. We don't know why the whiteboards are there. No, right, those whiteboards are there just in case we have a tie break. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. We do know why they're there. All right, so now, this is the part of the show where we're going to do the final round. We'll be doing it with Eugenia okay. and Marlo. Now, it's time for you to, I will alternate <laughs> asking questions to each of you. You each get three questions. Mm. Whoever gets the most of theirs right will win. So let's play. All right. I have a week of time. All right, Eugenia. In the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, mm. Rami Malek played what legendary lead singer of Queen? Not up on your Ooh, screen. no, I am not okay. up on Queen, but I love the movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, nope, we're not nope. skipping. You oh, either have yeah, it or you don't. It. And if it takes, don't oh, linger. Yes. Do you not know? No. You want to just say something? Make up, make up a singer's name. Just say something. It's not Bruno Mars, but yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury. All right, Marlo. Your question. Atlantic City was the model for what board game first sold by Parker Monopoly. Brothers over eight wow, decades ago? You will wait until I finish <laughs> oh, oh, oh. before you answer. Uh, yeah. You get the point. Okay. All right. Back to you, Eugenia. Oh, the pressure's on. Come on. Got it, girl. What nun from Calcutta was canonized by Pope Francis in 2016? Calcutta, India. Yes. She helped the poor. Oh, Mother Teresa. Yes. Yes. Uh, there you that go. is Girl. correct. And yes, a little assist from Jane Lynch. <laughs> All right, my friend Marlo. Beyond the Wand is a memoir by Tom Felton, who played the blonde villain in what movie franchise? Beyond Green Potter? The Wand. That is correct. Uh -huh. Right. Yes, All right. right. Yes. All right. Okay. Eugenia, yes. what acrobatic troupe with shows in Vegas made Canadian Guy La... La Liberté, Cirque a billionaire. Cirque oh. oh, yes, yeah. that is right. All right, our final question. It's tied. Marlo, are we telling you, you got to break this tie. Okay. Good luck. Oh, we'll have to Before he was shipwrecked off the coast of North Carolina, what legendary pirate capped into the Queen Anne's Revenge? Good luck. Blackbeard? Oh, my gosh, you got it. That is correct. Do we have a tie wow. or is it broken? Uh, you, broke you are it. the winner. <laughs> You are, okay. you are the winner. Congratulations, Marlo. Mar Marlo, you are the strongest link, and you're going home with a $500 Visa 
Yes, you are. Yes. Unfortunately, Eugenia, you are the weakest link, but before we say goodbye to you, oh, you'll be getting swag. some Hoda and Jenna can't swag. Can't go wrong with swag. <laughs> Which Thank has a street you, value guys. of 75 <laughs> And don't miss the season three of the premiere of The Weakest Link tomorrow at 10, 9 central, right here on NBC. Come on, Jen! Congratulations, y'all. Thank you guys so much for playing with us. That was fun.